Hi all, thank you for joining in today for the Runtime Fabric Keynote. From our in-house appliance to the new EKS, AKS, and GKE support, we have driven Runtime Fabric through its three core values, ability to centrally manage all applications, run mules on Kubernetes, and enable customer-hosted runtimes. And customers trust in Runtime Fabric to bring mules to their on-prem and multi-cloud environments has enabled us to articulate the most impactful scenarios. And this required us to employ an open Kubernetes ecosystem strategy to fulfill new customer needs and meet them where they are. But as we went on this journey, we realized that doing enterprise Kubernetes is hard, where customers not only have to manage various stages of enablement, but also need a solution that serves faster iterations, secure ecosystem, and certified open source integrations. And further, discovering that a typical Kubernetes cluster requires such extensive operational expertise, not every customer would want to or even has the resources to manage their infra. To bridge this gap, we are bringing to you Runtime Fabric on OpenShift. And OpenShift has some of the biggest footprint among enterprise customers who want to adopt an easy to use Kubernetes based platform to streamline their operations and increase developer productivity. With this release, joint OpenShift and Microsoft customers can realize higher returns on their OpenShift platform investments and reuse their safe the same DevOps workflow to deploy mules of applications more securely and more efficiently. From a fully managed cloud service like ARO and Rosa to self-managed OpenShift container platform, these seven offerings will help extract the underlying infrastructure complexity at the level where customers feel most comfortable. Further, OpenShift provides a catalog of production-ready integrations and certified operators that would enable customers to deploy robust cloud-native functionalities through their cluster. With this ecosystem approach, we are ensuring that customers have the flexibility of choosing their host environment and are able to take advantage of the suite of integrations provided by our platform partners. Let's see Runtime Fabric on OpenShift in action. Let's head over to a new point platform and start creating a Runtime Fabric. Using the usual user flow, now you'll find an additional target to install Runtime Fabric on OpenShift cluster. Review their support responsibility and you will get a Runtime Fabric ready for activation. Follow the target instructions provided in line by starting with creating a namespace and setting up the pull secrets. For the purpose of demo, we have already pre-configured the secret in our OpenShift cluster and what you are seeing here is the console which is provisioned for all flavors of OpenShift. With OpenShift support, we have simplified cluster setup even further. Instead of using error-prone rendi shell commands, Runtime Fabric will be available as a certified operator in Operator Hub catalog enabling one-click install. To avoid delays, we have pre-installed the operator at cluster level in our RO OpenShift cluster and you can see its varied configurations, version number and status. Now you will create an operand of this operator, which is essentially the runtime fabric agent that runs in the specified namespace. An essential key development with this runtime fabric release is that fabric agent no longer requires cluster level admin permissions and it can be deployed at namespace level in a shared cluster. To configure this agent, we will take the YAML file provided in the runtime manager and add our mule license to it. Let's now paste this configuration over on the operand config in OpenShift console and hit create. Using kubectl commands, we can verify that the operator is running. Now let's set up the ingress with our specified TLS cert and capture the ingress IP address for later. Head over to runtime manager UI to check the status of our fabric and configure associated environments with respective properties after you have created the operator. Now that the cluster is set up and Runtime Fabric is registered, application can be deployed using one of the three ways, using Runtime Manager UI, using Maven plugin, or the method we are using right now directly through an API. We already have an API request created here where we will add our authentication token verify application endpoint and environment target ID before sending up the API call. Once the call succeeds, let's head over back to the runtime manager UI to configure our application and check status. Now that the application is set up, let's ac access the API from terminal. Using kubectl commands, verify once the application pod is running and then use the ingress IP address from before to access the API. We can see the simple hello API respond successfully, validating that the application deployed through Runtime Fabric to our secure RO cluster is up and running. Thank you. To level set, deploy from any prime platform offers many options ranging from low to no overhead deployment in Cloud Hub to highly customizable on-prem deployment leveraging Runtime Fabric. 
Together with runtime fabric and integrations with the Kubernetes ecosystem, we feel extremely confident to truly meet customers where they are based on technology maturity, tolerance for operational overhead, as well as compliance and data resiliency needs. Thank you.